the champion novice chases next is a three mile one furlong grade one El Centro Fountain at the top for Vinnie Gerard, Great Sadler, Darren Thompson, Magic Word, Craig Beckwith, Strangers Call, Marty Liam, The Phalanx, Joshua Sorder, and Vanishing Paul Parsons, Window Rock Lover, Vinnie Gerard, Zeraldo Zafra, Darren Thompson, Cloak of Magic, Leon Van Rensburg, Crucial Elsie, James Shea, Fistek, Leon Van Rensburg, Pokes and Annie, Marty Liam, Talkback Mayor, Graham Clutterbuck, The Wild Witch, Joshua Sutherland, and Wild Rose, David Hurley. 15 of them, biggest field so far of the week. Which is quite a surprise when it is the novice grade one. I mean, the opportunities over the handicaps of some of these this week. They're away and racing. One or two of the trainers who tend to steer their horses towards the handicaps so have had to jump into the group ones in this particular division, myself included. And it's Pope San Anani who's going to go off and lead. After a lack of three more handicap chases this week. Subsequently, Pooks and Annie's had to go in a nice grade one, which she's probably got little chance of winning, but she'll probably do a good job of setting the pace. And that's what she's doing at the moment. A good five lengths clear. All the rest of them who are pretty tightly grouped as they get into the second. All safely over it with Magic Wood, just a back marker. 16 fences to take in all in this one. They've already taken two of them, and this is the third. Pooks and Annie skipped over it in front, all over it safely. Bit of an untidy jump by the back marker, magic word, but plenty of time to put that right. And Pooks and Annie clear by four to five. Zeraldo Zafra on the outside is just second, with the Wild Witch down this near side third. Then the leader's stable companion, Strangers Call, is next with the grey. Well, Graham Clutterbuck talk back mare, the other grey is Paul Parsons vanishing. Two greys this time. As they get to the fourth, and again the leader took that nicely, and so did the rest of them on the wide outside. Wild Rose is now towards the rear, now closest to us as we change angle. And it's Pope Sarani clearing the lead. And Zeraldo Zafra as I take this ditch. Pope Sarani really jumped that one carefully, and probably lost a length in the air. Talk about Mayor's going into second. Zeraldo Zafra now third, strangers called four. And the Wild Witch will fist tech. He's making good ground around the outside. The Phalanx is next, then Great Saddler. Also trying to go up the inside. Vanishing wider on the track. And the first of Vinnie Gerard's two is the El Centro Fountain. The one tucked in on the inside is Window Rock Lover as they come up past the stands then. They've got two miles still to go. They go over this, this is the sixth. And they're all safely over that, although Great Saddler was pretty untidy, hit it hard. You can see we're away and away from the Stand, odd course this one, and it should be passing the winning post very soon. There it is. Pook Sarani will lead them into their final circuit, leading by a good four lengths or so to talk back mere seconds. Zeraldo Zafra third between the two of them is the Wild Witch. Fistek is wide on the track with Vanishing. We'll jump that one nicely. Crucial Elsie is now the back marker as Magic Word gets a little bit closer. Strangest Call is the one who's really lost his place. He's dropped right to the back. Having been up in the leading four or five early on. Pokes and Alley leads over the next. From Talkback Mares, Zeraldo Zafran's have fallen there. Great Sadler's gone. He'd already made a mistake or two early on. So maybe not that much of a surprise that he's the first one to fall. Pokes and Alley. Get over the ninth in front. And there's another one down there. It's Window Rock Lover this time. So that's one of Vinnie Gerard's gone. He's still got another one in there. El Centro Fountain. Darren Thompson's still got Zeraldo Zaffer as well as they get over that ditch, which they all got over with the exception of Cloak of Magic. Cloak of Magic's gone this time. So now Leon's turn to lose one. He's still got Fistek, who's probably the favourite in this one. But the jump in has just started to catch a few of them out. As Pope Sarani continues to set the pace from Talkback Mare in second. Zeraldo Zaffer is third, then the Phalanx and the Wild Witch both getting closer. Vanishing is next, with Fistek closest to us. This is the plain one, which is the 11th. Again, the leader was a little bit slow over it, but continues to lead by two. They're queuing up behind them. You'd expect them to swamp her at some point soon. They're into the final mile now, and Pope Sarani from the Phalanx. 
Ziraldo Zafra, talk back mare, fist stick and the wild witch as they get over the 12th. All safely over that one with Crucial Elsie just the back marker, but no more than a dozen lengths off the leader. Poke Saladani is that leader, but only by half a length now to the Phalanx as they get over the 13th. In third is Talkback Mare, then Wild Rose and Zeraldo Zafra has now, for the first time in the race, the lead is just about to change hands. The Phalanx and Wild Rose coming to challenge Pokes and Annie, who's battling back gamely on the inside. Fist Tech now coming with a run around the outside. Talkback Mare is also still there on the inside. Then Zeraldo Zafra, the Wild Witch, and Vanishing as they head down towards the third last. And on the wide outside, Wild Rose is just about in front as they come to this third last. Pokes and Annie on the near side. Between the two of them is the Phalanx, and that one's now just poked his head back in front again. On the outside, the Wild Witch is still getting into it as well. There's plenty still in with chances. Crucial Elsie is absolutely flying on the outside. So too is Zeraldo Zaffa. The final ditch is the second last. And Pokes on and he jumped it best and got back up alongside Wild Rose. On the outside is the Phalanx. Then Zeraldo Zaffa. Crucial Elsie is still making ground, but now Wild Rose has gone on as they turn for home. There's just one to get over. And it's Wild Rose who's in the lead from the Wild Witch and Phalanx. Pokes on and he's now running a race and he's dropping back, Zeraldo Zafra is next, then Crucial Elsie and Talkback Mare as they head down towards the final fence and it's the Wild Witch who comes to challenge Wild Rose, the Wild Witch goes on, into the final fence they go and the Wild Witch is too clear, gets over it nicely, over it in second is the Phalanx, Zeraldo Zafra vanishing was a faller at the back, but it's the Wild Witch into the final furlong, racing downhill now, the Wild Witch is too clear from Phalanx in second, Crucial Elsie back in third and this is going to be one for Josh Russell and as the Wild Witch takes it, quick fire double for Josh, Wild Witch takes it Close for second, Crucial Elsie just the Phalanx third, then Talkback Mayor Wild Rose, Zeraldo Zafra, all the way back to the hugely disappointing Fish Tech, who was the last one to finish, didn't get involved at all today that one, and the Wild Witch takes it for Joshua Sutherland, Crucial Elsie for James Shea second, the Phalanx for Joshua Sutherland again was third, Talkback Mayor Graham Clutterbuck fourth, and Wild Rose for David Hooley, was back in fifth.